Celebrating a decade of sporting excellence is the Tobago Masters football tournament. They're marking their 10th anniversary and you want to find out what's going on. Very excited because joining us this morning via phone is Joffrey Edwards, who is the managing director of SW Touring Limited, to share with us what's going to happen, but also share with us how this started. Good morning, Joffrey, and welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. And my sincerest apologies for not being with you in studio this morning. It's a pleasure to have you with us, and we completely understand things are, of course, very busy, one can only imagine, as you have, well, started this, well, let's say celebration, but of course, Masters Football Tournament. So, Jeffrey, before we get into the details of this ongoing tournament, let's start with how we got to 10 years. TMFD. The Tobago Masters Football Tournament emerged 10 years as an opportunity to position Tobago as a premier destination in the fast-growing sports tourism niche. Two brothers, Chad Roberts and myself, sat down and we looked at the, the, the market. We were 29 years at that moment and we loved the ball. And there was a Trinidad Masters football tournament hosted by some members of the Queen's Park Oval that attracted teams from all over the Caribbean, North America, and the UK as well. Uh, but there was nothing for Tobago. And Chad and I conceptualized the Tobago Masters football tournament. Back then, it was known as Tobago Masters Invitational Football Tournament. And then the third wise man joined us four years into the gig, which is Mr. Ryan Bumpy Brown. And the three of us positioned the Tobago Masters Football Tournament as an opportunity to expose the unique identity of Tobago's culture, entertainment, and culinary masterpieces whilst enjoying the beautiful game of football. The Tobago Masters Football Tournament is for teams and players uh, who are aged 40 and over. So thus, it, is, it fits within the Support for all category that the Ministry of Sport and Community Development um, always speaks to and speaks about. And over the years, we have been able to attract teams and players from Barbados, Guyana, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Jamaica, Grenada, United States of America, Canada, and the United Kingdom, the city list. And to you, TTT, and the world, this 10 years is a celebration and to God be the glory for giving us this great opportunity to have a business that is 10 years in the making. Now, let's talk about what's happening with this year's tournament. Of course, it's your 10th anniversary and your theme is Let's Play Tobago. I understand there are some new additions to your event schedule. Can you update us on what they are? Yeah, definitely. Um, so some of the things that we are introducing for this year would be penalty, which is our ultimate welcome cooler line. Um, it is open to the public, but our primary stakeholders are the teams, their players, and the, the coaches, managers, um, to be able to come and enjoy that, that, that uh, I would say, carnival-like atmosphere. Um, because uh, Masters football is what is commonly known as pet match football, where you are able to uh, bridge the gap between football and entertainment. So this will be our first year in happening. It will be at the Shaw Park Hub on Friday, that's tomorrow, the, the 11th of October, from 10 p.m. to 3 p.m. And we have a couple of DJs, Kabuki and DJ Link from Boom Champions, who will be with us. Um, we want to say appreciate the team that was a part of that organization. And additionally, is CMSC Goes Green, where we continue the second year partnership with the Tobago Recycling Resort Initiative to promote sustainability by incorporating recycling bins to all venues. Um, this eco-friendly initiative is part of the greater effort to reduce waste and support energy sustainability while highlighting the island's beauty um, and maintaining that beauty throughout the initiative. It's beautiful to see that you've been able to incorporate all of these initiatives while, of course, encouraging sport tourism in Tobago. For those who are interested, where can we get more information about this tournament? Great question. So you can follow us on social media at SW Touring Limited. That's S as in Sam, W as in Water, Touring, T-O-U-R-I-N-G. 
Um, you can also follow, you can also call our hotline, the TMFC hotline, at seven eight sport. That is seven eight sport seven eight seven seven six seven eight. And you can also uh, follow all our updates on the TMFC Instagram page that will be launched today. Excellent. Now, you know, of course, Joffrey, when we're speaking about tournaments, one thing that we have to talk about are the prizes that are involved in competitions. Can you share oh, with us who, oh. maybe who sponsors and what's on the table for grabs this year? Oh, my. We have over $50,000 worth of cash prizes. And we are excited because we have the, the, the age categories over 40 and over 50 going up for grabs. Defending champions, defense sports past players are going to be challenged by um, by Wildy uh, Masters of Barbados, who is coming hot and fresh off of winning the Barbados Masters Football Classic. And the defense force, I mean, not the, the, the um, Juventus of St. John's, who are the defending over 50 champions, they will be challenged by Pele Masters out of the USA. And Pele Masters is also a past winner of the Barbados Masters Football Classic. And they are very much geared towards trying to win that 2000 US dollar cash prize as the, the first. Before I go into the sponsors, I must take the attention that the team were able to bid and once again build sports and tourism to how we highlight the, the division. In the over 40 division, the, 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 the three, four groups of three that we have named after four tourist destinations. Nyland Pool, Oko Reef, Argyle Waterfall, and Fort King George. While in the over 50 category, we have two groups of four, and we have named them after football legends in that of Dwight York and Calvin Hutchinson. So from that, you can be able to see that we have really bridged the gap between sport and tourism, even by its names. So we have to say thank you very much to our sponsors, which include the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, the Office of the Prime Minister Sport and Cultural Fund, the Vision of Community Development, the Development and Sport, the Mobile, Penny Saver Supermarket, the Medium Branding, Tobago Recycling, um, Lucas Aid, um, Oasis Bottle Water, Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort, who is our official hotel partner for 2024 and 2025. And other, and other partners, SW Tour Limited, who has been a part of us um, over the last 10 years. Excellent. Well, it's beautiful to see that you have so many on board who are supporting this cause, coming from the region as well to take part, hoping that you and all of your teams have an excellent tournament and looking forward to seeing what the next decade is going to bring for SW Touring Limited. Joffrey, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day and an awesome weekend. Thank you very much. And let's play Tobago. Let's Play Tobago, of course, is happening. Stay tuned to the Dow Morning Show. There's more coming up after this break.